What is up guys? My name is Rifty and welcome back to the Rift. It's it's so nice to see all of you again. Today we're going to be talking yet again about some more EA Sports, uh, UFC. A lot of content's been coming out over the last few days or last few weeks I should say. Uh, I'm super stoked now. Now we know we can pre-order and get Bruce Lee. I believe you can pre-order from any location if you're in North America. Um, to get Hoist Gracie, they just announced that the other day. Um, you have to pre-order at GameStop. In North America, I think GameStop is the only location you can pre-order from. Of course, you don't have to pre-order this game at all. Both characters are on the disc. You don't have to pay extra for them. They're not DLC. You can unlock both of them by beating the game on Pro Career Mode Difficulty or Higher. Um, so there you go on those two characters. Um, but I want to talk about the submission system. I'm super, super stoked. Um, I'm not a huge jiu-jitsu guy, but um, if I was to study a uh, another art of mixed martial arts outside of like kickboxing... I would definitely um, pursue jiu-jitsu. That's actually something I want to do when I go to Florida. Florida. Wow, I'm tripping over my words. Um, and so the jiu-jitsu, the submission game, the ground game, is something they've been talking crazy about. Uh, they want you to be able to feel the fight in every area, whether you're up against the cage doing some dirty boxing in the clinch, whether you're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe and trading, banging it out in the center, let me bang, bro. Um, or if you're on the ground looking for submissions or looking for ground and pound, they want you to feel the fight. So this is straight from the mouth of, um, I, I believe the creative director, I think his name is Brian, um, uh, forgive me if I said your name wrong, man, um, but here we go, Brian Hayes, um, our submission system involves an on-screen minigame, it's based on two core principles, one, the person you're trying to submit is rarely interested in letting you make progress towards your goal of making them tap, so, there you go, you're gonna have a minigame, um, both characters at the same time are going to have a mini game. It looks like it's going to be two separate mini games in my head due to the two core principle part. Um, but it's very possible that we could be seeing a very similar mini game um, to the previous uh, EA games, which isn't a big thing for me. Um, I tend to like to look for the technical win. Um, I actually like going to decisions when I'm playing um, MMA games. And EA MMA allowed me to do that a lot more than Undisputed did. Granted, I didn't play that much on um, simulation health mode in Undisputed 3, so that's obviously um, one of the reasons it could have been different. Um, but I'm super stoked about this. The the submission system, I'll try to go into more detail in the future as more information comes out. But right now, that's the big thing. Being able to flip the right stick down, left, and right, um, they say that's how you'll be able to see uh, or how you'll be able to make progress. And at the same time, your opponent's also going to be doing that. So it's basically, um, I guess, whoever can do it the quickest almost. Who's the fastest? Who's the, the more technical, you know? And I'm sure just like in all the previous games, if you rock somebody and then go for the submission, you're going to have a much larger advantage to finish them than they are to escape um but yeah so i'll have some more information in the future for you guys until then i want to thank you all we're so close to 100 subs um i'm excited i've never had 100 subs before so uh <laughs> i'll be making a video about that um but thank you guys so much for watching my name is rifty i will see you guys in the next video toodles